Hey guys, Gokusum for the win here, and welcome back to another video. Today I'll be showing you guys how to wave dash and wave land, how you can practice wave dashing and wave landing, and how to use wave dashing and wave landing. Now I'll be starting with wave dashing first, and then covering wave landing later on in the video. When performing a wave dash, you want to jump, quickly press the shield button to air dodge into the ground, while moving down right or down left on the analog stick. If you're doing it right, then it should look something like this. And if you guys would like to see what my hands look like when performing this, then here you go. Now when first starting out to practice a wave dash, I usually love to go into train mode. Once you're in train mode, choose a character with a long wave dash like Luigi or Marth. But make sure you don't choose someone like Peach or Zelda, because they have the shortest wave dash in the game. Okay, now once you're in training mode, you pretty much just want to go to your menu. Go ahead and go to speed. Now, right here, this is pretty much how fast you can press the buttons. If you can't press them too fast, then you're going to want to go to a lower speed. If you can, then good for you guys. Then you can go up a higher speed. Now, I'm just going to go to two thirds. Just because this is probably the easiest one, I can still do a wave dash in because I press the buttons pretty fast now. So, as you can see, the game is way, way slower. So you'll be able to perform a wave dash instead of practicing a wave dash like this. Nobody likes watching you air dodge like that. You want to see yourself doing the wave dash. So once you like get the hang of this speed, you can go up another speed until you finally make it to normal speed where you can just do normal wave dashes. This is a very good way to practice because you pretty much have it in your head that you're doing a wave dash and you just need to press the buttons faster and then you can turn up the speed. And I find a way better method than, again, just going like this. Nobody likes watching that. Now, there's a lot of things you could do with wave dashing. For example, you could wave dash into an attack. You could wave dash in and out of shield. You could wave dash to extend your dash dance range. And wave dash into grab. Also, wave dash is a great way to avoid a move. As you can see, Dr. PP, the Apex 2015 winner, is performing right here. Wave line is a hard technique to learn at the beginning. It requires pretty hard timing. To perform it, you jump, and right as your whole character reaches over the platform, you press the shield button while moving down right or down left on the analog stick. If you're doing it correctly, then you should be sliding off or across the platform. Okay, now when first starting off to practice a wave land, you want to go in train mode once again. Once you're in train mode, choose someone like Luigi, Marth, Mario, anyone with a long wave dash, and then go ahead and go into battlefield. Okay, now once you're in train mode, once again, you want to go over to speeds, change it to the one that's most comfortable for you. Usually you'll want to start on the slower speed if you are starting out to practice wave landing, just because it's easier to time. Now once you're on the low speed, go ahead and jump. You'll see that your again your character is much slower, so you'll be able to time way easier when all of his body is gonna reach over the platform. So you'll be able to do wave lands way easier. You can start doing this if you really want to. I'm not really good at it myself. Wave landing off, jumping, wave landing on off again, like this. It's way easier when it's slower. But you could just keep doing this over and over again. Make sure to switch the platforms once in a while. Make sure to switch your directions. Just because you don't want to be practicing one direction. That's not a smart idea. So try practicing this way once in a while as well. That's pretty much it for practicing wave landing. Once you get better at it, again, you could turn it up and do the timing like this. There are many things you could do with a wave land. For example, you could wave land onto the stage. Wave land downwards to reduce landing lag on a platform. Wave land onto the edge. And of course, wave land across or off a platform. I hope you guys enjoyed my tutorial on wave dashing and wave land. If you did, go ahead and leave a like and subscribe to my channel. I'll be doing some more tutorials in the future, so stick around.